This is the Godox AD100 Pro, and this is probably the best softbox you can buy for it. But before we begin, I would like to give a huge thanks to Peter Wong of Rainbow Camera Store Hong Kong for hooking us up with all of the gear that will be mentioned in this video. So this right here is the fastest softbox in the world. All I need to do is just pull up and now I have a complete softbox already set up for me. This is called the SMDV Flip 20G Speedbox. And I love this thing because everything about it just screams speed. If I want to collapse it, all I need to do is just flick this switch and it's now fully collapsed. And all I need to set it back up is just pull up like this and all of the rods already extended for you. You don't need to assemble anything. And to top that off, the diffusion sheets are sewn on. So you don't need to Velcro anything. This is a double diffused softbox. So there's one interior and one exterior diffusion sheet. So one thing I love about the Flip 20 speed box is that it kicks the S2 bracket out of the ball game. You don't need something like this anymore because we all know how heavy this thing is because now if I wanna attach an 8100 Pro onto a light stand, I need to put this into an S2 bracket and then tighten it and then put it onto a light stand. But with this one, this attaches via magnets. And you're probably wondering if it's secure. Let me show you. If I just do this, it is not gonna fall off. It is very secure. So right now the mount I have is for the Godox V1 and, and the AD100 Pro. So this mount basically attaches to the Flip 20 speed box. You rotate it like that and you hear a click sound and it is secure. To release it, you just press this button over here, rotate this way and you get the mount back. And to mount your flash or your AD100 Pro is very easy. You just push it in like this. And you're probably worried that it is not secure, like the 8100 is not secure. This one has a little safety latch over here or a button you can press. You press it down, it's gonna bite down on the 8100 Pro and it's very secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. And to mount this to the Flip 20, it's the same thing. You just put it in, rotate, and it locks like right there. So if you want to release this safety button over here, you can press the unlock button over here and it's gonna lift up the little biting clamp. You can pull out the 8100 Pro, and just like that, you can just put it back, push down, unlock, pull it out. So one thing I love about the Flip 20 speed box is how small it is. So let me show you. If I remove the flash, and I tear it down, it's this small, and it comes with a little Velcro strap so you can secure everything, and you have your entire softbox, your diffusion sheets, your mount, now you don't have to bring an S2 bracket and it comes with this bag right here. And you can put the whole thing inside and imagine a whole soft box and your mount fitting inside this bag. And the cool thing is this right here, the Flip 20 fits inside a backpack. So now I have a soft box inside my backpack. I can put my 8100 Pro inside. And if you have a compact light stand like the Fodex Padat Carbon 198, you can fold this down and you can have your whole system inside a backpack. I have a softbox, I have a 8100 Pro and a light stand inside one backpack. So all you need to do is just put your camera on your shoulders, like maybe with a strap and you're ready to do a professional shoot. So again, it's very easy to set up. You bring out your light stand, you lock it down, you bring out your Flip 20 speed box, you undo the Velcro, you pull this up. And the cool thing about this is that it has a built-in mount for a baby pin. So this right here is like a tightening knob. So all I need to do is just place it onto this baby pin and then rotate it clockwise. And now it's locked. Now I can lift the whole thing up. And now we put our 8100 Pro, lock it down. And now I have a compact and professional flash photography kit that I can bring wherever I want. So one more cool thing about the Flip 20G speed box is that it can act without a light stand. This includes a little handle. So if we undo the tightening knob, right here, now I can just hold it. So if you have an assistant, your assistant can just hold it over your subject. So one more bonus thing that SMDV included here is that this does not need a ball head whatsoever because normally if you mount a light onto a light stand, you will need a ball head of some sort to be able to tilt it or direct the light where you want. But this one, it has a built-in tilting mechanism. So this right here has a trigger here that if I press, I can angle the light down or angle the, the light up. So the cool thing about this, I can do everything with one hand. So if I wanted to angle it up, I can just grab it, 
point it up like this. If I wanted to angle it down, I just grab it, point it down. So this is really a very good option if you're doing run and gun flash photography, because a lot of people, whenever they use an 8100 Pro, they don't even use a softbox with it. They just use hard lighting because using softboxes is just very tedious and very hard to set up because we all know it's very hard to set up a softbox, right? But with the Flip 20, it's just very easy to just disassemble it, assemble it, and just keep on walking wherever you're going to do the shoot from scene one to scene two. This solves everything. Okay, now let's talk about things I don't like about this Flip 20G Speedbox. To be honest, it was super hard for me to think of things that I don't like about it, but I've only thought about two. So this is gonna be it. The first thing is that there is no honeycomb grid. Okay, so there is no way to attach a honeycomb grid because normally you have to leave a little bit of space in the front for you to be able to Velcro on a honeycomb grid, right? But for this one, there is no way to mount one. So I don't think that's really a deal breaker because if you're shooting outdoors, if you use a honeycomb grid, you lose a little bit light, right? Because it's being directed forward. So I don't think that that's a disadvantage. So there's another thing that I don't like about it, which is the price. This thing right here is a little bit expensive for the size because you can buy a bigger softbox with that money rather than buying this, but you don't get the speed that you get with the Flip 20 softbox, right? So if you're a photographer who shoots a lot outdoors and you have one assistant, this is your best bet. Or if you have no assistant, you can still shoot. You can use your left hand to hold the softbox and the other hand to hold your camera. If you're experienced enough and you're quick to change settings and all, you should be fine. So what do I think about the SMDV Flip 20G Speedbox? Boy, I wish I discovered this piece of gear earlier. It would have made my life a lot easier when it comes to photographing people outdoors whenever I want to use a softbox because I don't want to use hard light. Hard light is not really ideal. It is it is easy to use, but it's not as flattering as having a, a proper softbox. So if you have any further questions regarding the SMDV Flip 20G Speedbox, let me know in the comments down below. But as for me, I love this thing. I wish I had this sooner. I love how everything can just be collapsed in just seconds and set up in just seconds. You're gonna love this thing. It just changes everything when it comes to filming. <laughs> I mean, photographing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.